What's up, everybody? This is MT Genius, and today I'm going to tell you guys a little story. So back when I was like 9 or 10 years old, so this time frame-wise would be about 2003, 2004, I remember that uh, my stepdad's younger brother, which would be my step-uncle, I guess, uh, I remember we were at my grandma's house and he was playing Magic the Gathering with a couple of his friends. And I had no idea what it was at the time. And I remember the interaction that was happening. My uncle had an ogre. And his buddy had a bear. And being like a 9 or 10 year old kid, I, I, I'm just imagining, you know, like an ogre fighting a bear. And it's crazy, right? Like it's crazy to think like, you know, like this big ass ogre is, you know, <laughs> taking on this giant massive bear. And they're just, you know, duking it out. Um, but I remember that the ogre was attacking the bear, right? And then he, the dude used a pump spell on the bear. And, you know, you can just imagine this bear getting massive, you know. Nine-year-old me is freaking out, you know. Like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next, you know. And I don't know, I don't know why, but I distinctly remember that. Fast forward, um, I go through middle school, I go through high school. And, of course, I was into other card games, um, you know, I, I dabbled into uh, Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit. I played uh, Pokemon a little bit. You know, get that in the shot there. Uh, and the feelings just kind of just faded away for, like, the trading cards, like, as I went through high school. Because I went to a really small school, and nobody was really into that kind of thing. So it kind of just, it did, the feeling for it just faded away. And then fast forward to a couple years out of high school, I am working, and I'm actually in a manager like supervisor uh kind of role and there was a couple guys that were working under me who were talking about magic the gathering and they were talking about going to an f and m because uh, there was a new set that was coming out and they were hyping it up like crazy right this is 2017 for time reference um so you know, I'm, I'm hearing them talk, I'm hearing them go on, and they're, they're at lunch, they're just, you know, going back and forth, you know, talking about this, talking about that, and I had no idea, no idea what they were talking about. And so they're, they're, they're asking me, like, hey, do you, are you into Magic the Gathering? And I was like, oh, no, that, that, that's for nerds. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, nobody plays trading card games, okay? No, nobody does that anymore. Little did I know. The two guys' names are Logan and Alex. Logan says, hey, uh, why don't you come over to the house after work one day and I'll teach you how to play. And I was like, I'll come over and hang out with you, but we're not playing Magic. That's dumb. So I get to his house. This is like a Tuesday. And uh, he's showing me all these all these uh, video games that he's collected. And he's showing me all these, uh, you know, all the stuff that he's like occurred over time. And, and I'm like, wow, this is really neat. And he like, starts showing me these Magic cards. And he's telling me, like, about this card, and he's telling me how much this one costs, and he's telling me, like, all these interactions that he's had with all these cards, and he's like, you'll really love the game if you if you learn how to play. So, you know, I was like, all right, let's 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 go ahead and play. He had two decks ready. It was uh, standard legal at the time. And I remember playing, it was, it was mostly mono blue. I don't know if it was entirely mono blue, but it had, like, Torrential Gearhawk, and it had a lot of energy... Uh, themed with it, but it was like counter spells and uh, Dynavolt Tower. I want to say the energy you pay energy, you can like hit people with it. No, but I won. I don't remember what deck he was using. I want to say it was Gruel, Gruel something or another. But I won. I ended up winning that game, and I was like, wow, this is this is kind of fun. So I didn't. And then at the same time, like I didn't know if he was you know taking it easy on me because I it was new and it was my first game. So I was like, oh, let's play again, you know, and I won again. So I was like, wow, this is awesome, you know, like I, re I really want to get into this. The next day, we actually uh, ended up going to my LGS, which would be the Deck Factory. Whenever Alex used to go by, I mean, I, uh, we don't really hang out too much now, but whenever we used to, to go to the the Deck Factory, he he would just spend money like crazy, right? Like he had a, he had accumulated like so many cards, over you know his you know time playing magic that he's had he has like tropical islands and he has like all these like crazy expensive lands you know that i at the time i didn't know anything and so he he goes in and he'll trade in cards and he'll drop like five six hundred dollars a time that he goes into the store which is bonkers you know to me you know like just coming into it 
so they're in there and they're in the store they're they're dabbing it up like the store owners and they're like best buddies and i'm over here looking at play mats and deck boxes and sleeves i'm like wow this stuff is awesome like all these like memories from like when i was younger and i really wanted to do stuff like this were just like flooding back was waiting on them to do all their their interactions and stuff and they were buying cards and trading cards and selling cards and I decided that on the way out I was going to grab a pack and I bought one pack of Hour of Devastation and I didn't open it in the car we rode all the way home they dropped me off and uh, I, I went home I opened the pack and I'm, I'm going through these cards I'm looking at them I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm feel great feel great about this four dollars i just spent and i don't i'm reading all these cards i'm trying to figure out everything i want to say my rare was god pharaoh's gift i don't remember exactly but you know i didn't care at the time again and uh behind the god's pharaoh's gift i pull the invocation version of damnation which has the pretty awesome egyptian like uh nickel bolus floating there like looking like a badass i was like wow this card looks great like i mean <laughs> So I snap a picture of it and I send it to Logan and you know he's shitting his pants you know like like oh my gosh man like that's that's a great pull he's like that's, that's like a hundred dollar card and I was like oh that's that's awesome you know like so what do I do and he's like sell it he's like get go you know sell it it's worth a lot of money you can get you know some more packs and stuff the next day we go back to the deck factory and it turns out that damnation was worth like a hundred and twenty hundred twenty five dollars at the time and the deck factory I think. I want to say they gave me $75, $75 for it, or maybe $80, I can't remember. And uh, But I do know that I, I, only, I only had to pay like $10, and I got an entire box, booster box, of Hour of Devastation with 36 packs in it. And out of out of all those 36 packs, I actually end, did end up um, uh, pulling an Invocation of Breach, I want to say. Uh, or into the breach or or something something along those lines i can't remember exactly what the card's called uh it wasn't worth as much but um so i took all these cards over to logan's house after work one day and i was like hey let's build a deck i want to play so we built this uh green white exert deck and we take it to post board gaming and finley for my very first ever fnm and it barely even fires so there's like eight people barely we even had get all the pairings and stuff and i play my first match and i get whooped i get you know blown out and it wasn't even close i don't remember even what i was going up against but i just remember i was like wow like i barely did anything and i didn't even have a sideboard and the dude across the table from me he's like oh do you this is a, where you sideboard and i was like i don't even know what that is bro I'm like i don't know what a sideboard is and he told me you know, like there's, it's like a handful of cards that you, you know, would switch out in between games and stuff. And I was like, there's, there's so much of this game that I don't know about. I went 0 and 4 uh, at that F and M. You know, it kind of got me down a little bit, but at the same time, I'm like, I want to be better. So we actually started going to Lima for the F and M because they had a lot, a lot more people. Like we would tend to get like 16, 17, 18 people routinely. So it was more interaction. It was more diverse. You know. Uh, opponent selection made a mono white life gain deck that i got second place with and then the next the following week i went first in the fnm it kind of just sparked everything really as soon as arena came out i didn't have a pc i didn't have a laptop or anything at the time so i couldn't actually play the game but i was watching a lot of youtubers who were like uh, Saffron Olive or uh, CGB or uh, Mono Black uh, Magic. Enjoy Moss, you know, Bad Boy Gaming. I'm watching all these guys play Arena, and I've just wanted to do it the whole time, right? So I'm still doing, you know, Paper Magic. I'm still doing uh, F&Ms, and uh, I actually start getting into Commander a lot heavily. And I actually have, like, four Commander decks now, but... Uh, I actually end up getting a laptop and I just go balls to the walls and I play it for like three weeks straight, like six to eight hours a day. And I build up this whole arsenal of cards and, and I, I love, I love the ability on arena to 
just build things on the fly. Like, I have all these cards at my arsenal. I could just sit there and just, just crank out decks, just read some cards and find some interactions and just crank them out. And I think that's what, actually, I, I love to do with the channel because that's what I do. You know, like, I, I make I make janky decks that, you know, have, have one certain combo maybe that we focus on, and I just go and, and build around it. I have become... It has become crazy to the point that I buy magic cards all the time now. Every time I'm at Walmart, I, I look down that aisle, no matter what, and sometimes I buy stuff. A lot of times I buy stuff. Probably 90% of the time I would, I'll buy something. It's it's almost become an addiction. Not not necessarily saying that's a bad thing because I love it, and, and it... It doesn't even matter that the cards aren't worth anything. I just love finding cards that I can play with. Like, I'll buy a starter kit. I'll buy a uh, Planeswalker deck. I'll just buy a random booster. I'll buy the Chaos uh, booster packs they have at Walmart where you get, like, six boosters from recent sets. I love the game. There was so much that I missed out on. There's so many years of this game that I've missed out on. And I really love playing it. And I wasn't very efficient at the beginning. I, I had to learn all the rules, and I had to learn all the interactions. And, and watching all those YouTubers play uh, really helped me with the understanding of the game and understanding some of the better interactions between uh, creatures and players and, and how to think think ahead of ahead of time. And, you know, if they have two untapped, you know, blue mana, don't maybe don't cast this, you know. I really love Magic the Gathering. I decided to make this YouTube channel just to play, you know, some of the, uh, just, just so you guys could experience some of the things that I love to create, whether it works or not. You know, I try, I try to make them as, uh, cohesive as I can, as, uh, easy to like, uh, play. And that's, it's not just like, you're going to, you're going to play this deck and you're just going to get wrecked every time you play. Like I try to make them semi-competitive. But I love deck building, and I make some janky decks, and it, I, I don't even know, I don't even know how to describe it anymore. Like, I, I love Magic the Gathering. Ever since 2017, when I started to gather cards, it's just been a passion, and it's, it's, it's a really great community to be involved in. I love that we get a new set every three months, and we get all these Masters cards, and it feels really good to be part of this whole community with everybody. I'm really excited for what Magic has in the future. My only, my only regret is that back when I was like 9 or 10 that I didn't start with this sooner. You know, or maybe even in middle school or in high school, like maybe I should have bought some magic cards, you know, and started this and had all that extra years of experience under my belt. But, you know, I'm learning every day. I'm continuing to grow. And I just wanted to uh, share that story with you guys. Um, I haven't really told it too much, at least not into that level of detail. I'm going to continue to make decks on here. I'm going to continue to uh, spread the MTG love and continue to post combos of the day on my facebook page whether y'all like it or not so this is mt genius and i hope you guys have a wonderful day let's play some magic <laughs>